The bronze likeness of Lakers great Magic Johnson that can be found just outside the front door of our location today. The Staples Center. The playoff battle in the West starts off with a bang right here. Game one. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Perry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, the NBA changed the lottery odds in 2019 to encourage competition among its conference's least successful teams. But some want even more to be done. They call for eliminating the draft altogether. Another potential solution? A play-in tournament for teams 7 through 10 in each conference, which would eliminate the need for trying not to win as much as possible during the regular season. However it's done, the league has stated its desire for parity. Kevin? Great, D.A., thanks. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Paul out there with Andre Robertson. And it's Cephalosia in at the three spot. And for Los Angeles, the two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward slots. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's Harrell in at center. So off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. Roberts in the pass to Adams. He kicks the ball. Oklahoma City gets it back. Moves back up. Alinari left side. Knocked loose. Just four to shoot. Pass to Williams. Back to Leonard. That one wide left. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Robertson dishes to Cephalosha. Back to Robertson. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. From past the arc. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. As good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Now here's Paul. Back to Adams. Dishes it to Paul. A baseline J. Rebound by Harold. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Gallinari. Leonard no luck. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Ball with the bucket. Gallinari at that size can do a little bit of everything, and I like to see him dishing the rock. The Clippers have gone 1 of 3 from the field to start this one so far. And Beverly kicks to Williams. Here's Leonard. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack the confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Paul finds Robertson. A baseline J. Adams. Great positioning on the putback. Uh, the motor right now for Steven Adams is humming on the glass, getting after it. Williams passes to Harrell. Here's Beverly, defended by Robertson. And it's George finishing it off. And watch out, you don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Beverly against Paul. Here's Robertson. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. Zubats is checked in for Los Angeles. Green comes in for Williams. And then for Oklahoma City, Noel's checked in for Cephalosha. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Robertson. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Paul. Just two to shoot from outside the arc. Tries again. And there's the nice layup by Adams. Great effort from Adams there. We know he has that size to take the contact, but determined on that play to get the points. Kicks it out to Leonard. And it's off from three-point range. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. The pass to Adams. So here's going on. Now Schroeder. Point range. 
it's hauled in by George. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And Adams sends it back. Well, Steven Adams is very much capable of anchoring a defense right there in a great spot to get the block. And not where he earns his money, that three-point shot. But he's a good shooter from that range if he's got space. Now, here's Beverly. And it's Leonard, top of the key. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Very easily could have been an one there. Leonard takes the contact and still maintains the focus to make the score. Allen Ari outside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Thunder shooting their first free throws of the game. Good from Gallinari. Amazing year last year to see Gallinari fully healthy. So valuable when he's out there on a consistent basis and he can score from anywhere on the floor. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Landry Shamitz checked in for Leonard. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Muscala's checked in. Gallinari hits them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Pass to George. Poke loose and stolen by Noel. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by George. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here is George. Six to shoot. It's tipped. It's stolen by Schroeder. He lobs it up, dives for it. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. In the corner, Shamit with it. The Thunder pull it in. One second left. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Thunder lead by two. So they'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. There's a great friendship between Melo, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul, and Chris talked about where all that started. It's been a sort of long relationship, you know, and obviously me, Bron, Melo, D. Wade have all really got really close. And that stems from the time with the Olympics, uh, USA teams, and then just sharing a lot of the same likes and, and values and having kids and family and different things like that. And you see that a lot nowadays. Star players developing friendships and GA spending time with each other off the floor. Yeah, hey, some people hate it because they, they want that bad blood you used to see, but no reason you have to hate someone to really compete against them. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for. Have the front of guy, what stands out to you so far? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and you just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. On the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter. Schroeder and Gilgis Alexander. They're up in the backcourt. Mike Muscala out there at Nerland's Noel. And it's Gallinari in at the three spot. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiated thus far. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Schroeder staying aware and excellent at going straight into the defense in order to get the foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. from Schroeder. With Schroeder, it's all about speed. He just changes direction and shifts into another gear, Kevin. That's where his advantage lies. 
here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Harrell comes in for Ivica Zubas. And it's Williams in for George. Then for the Thunder, Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Nerland's Noel. Robertson comes in for Gallinari. And Chris Paul subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Livingston passes to Shamit. Shot clock at five. Rebounded by Cephalosha. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Now here's Schroeder. He's covered by Shannon. They recover it and can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. Cephalosha can be rugged. He is outstanding at getting the contact while shooting. Free throw good, Cephalosha. Well, Cephalosha has really carved out a nice role for himself in the NBA. A very important role player, definitely known for his lockdown defense. That misses, so he splits the free throws. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Now you can make a case that Lou Williams is at his best in that kind of situation. Dynamite in transition. Schroeder finds Cephalosha. And the rejection by Harold. Pass to Williams. to Harrell. The fader. No good on that one. And the Thunder going the other way now. It's Schroeder with the drop. Williams with the defensive effort. Clippers trail by five. The pass to Shamit. Livingston kicks to Shamit. And in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Passes it to Muscala. And Jermichael Green picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Leonard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Patrick Beverly comes in for Sean Livingston. Adams, he's checked in for the Thunder. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Adams has got six points. Now, this is why you love Chris Paul running your offense. Just move without the ball, find some space, and the ball will find you. Now here's Williams. Floats one, and Adams sends it back. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Robertson with it. Pass to Adams. Over Williams. And Adams with the basket on the assist from Robertson. And now a seven-point Thunder lead. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Beverly finds Leonard. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got four rebounds now tonight. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. It's just a master class when Chris Paul has the ball. Great at orchestrating the offense and right there finding his teammate. And Adams sends it back. Pass to Paul. On the city moving the ball around. There's the pass to Adams. Muscala. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Zubac is checked in for Jermichael Green, and George is subbed in for Williams. Then for the Thunder, Alinari comes in for Cephalosha. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Andre Robertson. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. 
down by 12. 52 seconds left here in the second. And here is Zubac. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Carroll, that's good. Uh, he gets really excited about finishing through contact, Kevin. Paul against Beverly. Shoots it up. Paul's shot is off. The Clippers shooting is definitely lagging at the moment. They're just 30% in the second quarter. Golinari against Leonard. Passes it to Zubac. Now here's Beverly. Defense is right there. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Six seconds left in the first half of basketball. That's a two from Paul, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And don't go away. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Round one action of the playoffs continuing on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Looking at the Thunder, they've put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important game one victory. So far, they've clearly been the better team controlling the flow. By no means is it a runaway, but they've put themselves in a great position. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder? Well, Steven Adams, very, very impressive. Every year, scorer, passer, defending along the perimeter. I thought he was the key to their success in the first half. Kenny, what's your take on the Clippers? Well, obviously, they didn't show up on the glass at all. They were getting outworked, outhustled, and outplayed. And their competition showed just the opposite. They wanted it more. You can't give up a ton of extra possessions in a game like this and expect to win. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. We're seeing a tremendous game from Steven Adams. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. Yeah, the rest of the team seemed to line right up behind him, matching that kind of intensity and looking for him to come through with some big plays. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. And they're down low at four with Harrell in the middle. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's George in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Now here is Cephalosha. Paul with the ball. George picks him up. Alinari outside. A three-pointer, no good. Clippers trail by ten. And George, here we go. Here's Beverly. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Here's Gallinari. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from George. Over Gallinari. And there's Paul George on the assist by Beverly. George has got his second bucket of the night. That's a nice play by Paul George showing a nice touch from the mid-range. Now here's Paul. A three ball. Offensive rebound. Adams. An easy two points on the layup. Adams has got 10. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. George with the ball. Now guarded by Gallinari. George against Gallinari. Fade away. The shot by George, no good. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Here's Robertson. Hands it from downtown. Robertson's got the lead up to 13 now for the Thunder. Well, there's no doubt that each year he gets a little better and more comfortable from beyond the arc. That helps Robertson stay on the floor for more minutes. 
and it's Leonard missing. And they're one of four here to start the second half. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Floats one up. It's hauled in by Beverly. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for them. Williams scanning the floor. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Such a difficult cover for any defense. Lou Williams is adept at putting the defense in uneasy situations, backing them up quite a bit. The Clippers shooting their first free throws of the evening. And that one falls for Williams. Now what sets Lou Williams apart right now is his confidence. This guy is a gunner who comes in and believes that he's going to score. He often does. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Green, he's checked in for Harrell. Landry Shamit comes in for George. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. The Thunder also changing it up. Noel's checked in for Cephalosha. Gilgis Alexander comes in for Robertson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Paul. Now, here is going on. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Five on the clock. And Noel kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Misses the deep three-point attempt. Clippers trail by 11. Bounce pass Livingston. Here's Leonard. And again, no good by the Clippers. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. I don't know how you match up sometimes with the long arms and high release of Gallinari. The defense learned their lesson on the drive there. Williams finds Livingston. Leonard against Noel. And it's Leonard missing. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Leonard passes to Adams. Over Green. And the foul called on Merlin's Noel. That's his first foul. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. And so Green will bring it up for the Clippers. It's a 13-point game. Clippers moving the ball around to the left side wing. 141 left to play in the third. Here's Shamit. Off target from three-point range. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Livingston. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Can't sneak the ball around the long arms of Livingston. He clogs up the passing lanes well. Gilgis Alexander finds Gallinari. Over Leonard. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Just remarkable what he's able to do. Leonard with a guy draped all over him, still able to convert. Now, here is going on. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. Patrick Beverly. Clippers on defense. They trail by nine points. Here's Schroeder. It's held in by Zubat. For Los Angeles, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. And he comes up with the deuce. Leonard's got four points this quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Now Gallinari. deep and no good on the last second attempt this time and so it's oklahoma city heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter what a defensive effort they put on Kawhi leonard it's rare to see him have the kind of trouble he's had tonight we'll take a quick break and then back to the action here
While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. All right, now a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Thunder, Cephalosha is out there with Andre Robertson. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Noel in at the five spot. And here's Beverly following the three from Chris Paul. Knocked away. Zubats with it. Shot clock at six. The three from George. Rebounded by Cephalosha. Cephalosha's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Paul kicks to Robertson. Right at the free throw line. That's good from Paul on the assist from Robertson. And it's a 12-point Thunder lead. Outside, George. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. And the Clippers making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And a switch here also for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. The Clippers shooting poorly, just 35% so far. Williams kicks to George. Rebounded by Cephalosha. Cephalosha's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Paul. Got a hand on it. Can't be lazy around Patrick Beverly. He's going to get you down low with hands. That time, he blocks a shot. Williams inside. Covered by Cephalosha. Williams can't hit. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Here's Paul. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the two guys. Now here's Paul. The pass to Cephalosha. He's looking for Robertson and finds him. Adams down low. Working on Williams. Adams' shot is good. Yeah, that 265 pounds out there, Kevin, it's pretty solid. A wrecking ball. Los Angeles calls timeout. Yeah, and his shot selection, iffy at best tonight. A lot of forced, contested shots this game. He'll be lucky if he just gets a talking to here instead of a, a ticket to the bench. in for Los Angeles. Colin Ari, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He told his guys, this is it. We need one final push here. Everyone working together. Let's go get these guys. He also talked about making smart plays with the ball. Kevin, you can't have any mistakes at this point in the game. Thank you, David. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Clippers trail by 12. 
are just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And that's a foul. It's called Antabo Cephalosha. That is his first foul of the game. Cephalosha against George. Looking to get back on track here. Well, once Paul George gets in that deep, get out of the way. He's coming right at you. Oklahoma City leading by 10. And here is Paul. The feed to Adams. Takes it to Robertson. Five to shoot. Williams with the steal. Down low. And Harris is it in. Well, Harold gets up there and he uses that long wingspan for the finish. Thunder have gone three or five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the court. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. Our timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're in front by eight. 139 left to play here in the fourth. our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Adams. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And Craig, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs, makes it all the more remarkable. Right on the first, and that will put them up by nine. Now just such leadership that Chris Paul brings every night to the floor. It commands your respect and the opponent's respect, and it's making everyone around him better right now. And so Paul nails both of them. 133 left in the fourth quarter. George against Cephalosha. And George, here we go. And George with the stuff. What's the pick used for? It's used for separation. And Paul George got it there. Beverly against Paul. Cephalosha, solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Thunder. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams and it was a tough battle underneath all game and I think ultimately that earned the W. And you know, looking back in all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Steven Adams. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. No good there. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Passes it to Paul. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thank you, Kevin. Chris, big win tonight. What do you think was the biggest factor? I mean, I don't know. You know, it was just our defense. You know, obviously our offense fared off of it. Guys made open shots, but I think we really locked down defensively, and that's what we're trying to make sure is that we're a defensive team every night. Well, you were a defensive team tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.